Motherwell boss Billy Davis sticks by the starting 11 which beat Dundee United last week that means Mikael Duisburg has to be content with a place on the bench now he's available again Pat Nevins the link man once more between the midfield and the strikers of Spencer and Goodman Jed Brannan's been impressive in Motherwell's midfield since moving from Manchester City and if it's confirmed he could be eligible for Scotland through a Scottish grandparent Craig Brown could come knocking in his door Dundee goalkeeper Robert Douglas is another Scotland prospect but he'll be hoping for a better afternoon than last Saturday when he lost five goals to Celtic Dundee manager Jockey Sort has made three changes from the side which lost at Parkhead Jim McAnally, Sean McSkimming and James Grady drop out Stephen Boyack and Hugh Robertson come into the midfield while Willie Faulkner returns to partner Eddie Annan up front the referee is Eric Martindale So Motherwell get this uh, match underway, attacking the goal to our left. Don Goodman and John Spencer, the main strikers this afternoon. Header away there from Brian Irvin, under pressure from Goodman early on. The free kick goes the way of Dundee. Jed Brannan, the man very much in form and in everyone's lips. McMillan drilling it forward, looking for Spencer. The interception came from... Willie Miller, now Jamie McGowan from Motherwell. Rather tight in that corner, but Pat Nevin gets the ball released there into the midfield area. Played forward by Mark Gower. Brian Irvin's header holding up in the wind there. That's a chance for Stephen Boyack to get into the action. Interception though from Brannan. Now Spencer, can he open things up for Motherwell? Tries to widen that right-hand side, but far too far ahead of Jimmy McGowan with that pass from John Spencer. Calacari, finding Nevin. Nice little flick over the advancing defence from Pat Nevin, looking for Don Goodman. Just a little bit too far ahead of Goodman. Carry powerful in the midfield area, releases Spencer, he has Nevin ahead of him, still Spencer, drives in the shot, marvellous strike from John Spencer to open the scoring for Motherwell. Spencer checking inside Brian Orban and unleashing an unstoppable shot past Robert Douglas. Certainly making a claim for a recall to the Scotland set-up is John Spencer. McGowan. Balakari. Nevin trying to link with Goodman. Goodman took his eye off that one. A flighted ball forward for Annan to give chase. Seemed to be impeded by Thomas. It'll be interesting to see what decision this is. Was he the last man? Will it be the yellow? It's the yellow from referee Eric Martindale for Tony Thomas. Thomas coming across and in. Well, they didn't look too much in that from that angle. So the yellow card given there. Now it's McGowan. Gives away possession though. Straight to Gavin Ray. Ray's long ball for Faulkner to chase Thomas is shot with a pass back a chance for Willie Faulkner tees it up for Eddie Annans a side foot shot saved by the legs of Andy Goro you were expecting him to blast it there but once more Goro thwarts the striker in a one-to-one -one situation teed up by Faulkner Annans shot was not purple but Goro nevertheless made the save Brannan opening it up for McMillan the flighted cross, the head of the way by Madison. That's a corner, the first of the afternoon to Motherwell. Steve McMillan always sends in the dangerous cross. Lee Madison not taking any chances. Kerr with a corner, near post, the brick of the ball back for Spencer. Straight to Robert Douglas. Flighted in once more by Gower. Spencer came off his marker as that ball broke to him, but straight at Robert Douglas. Two. 
from Dean Thomas. Alakari back to Thomas. And now McGowan. Motherwell quite content to knock this ball about through the midfield and the defence to find the opening. Here's Brannan again. Well positioned on the left is McMillan. Always wants to have a run out of defence. What's the one two with Goodman? Still there is McMillan looking for the break. Drives it in. Not far away. Robert Douglas was down stretching at his near post. The break of the ball came off Robbie Rayside into the path of McMillan. He drilled in the low shot, inches away from that right-hand post. Barry Smith tidying up at the back, utilising Douglas. And Valakari wins it for Brannan. Nevin looking for the return and the overlapping Stephen McMillan. Away by Irvin. Brannan's there again. Here's Nevin. Another chance for Brannon to get in the cross. It's a low one. Deflected away. Gower trying to set up for Spencer. Gets away from Rayside. John Spencer! The angle drive there, not far away. He certainly is in the mood this afternoon, is Spencer. Good play by Spencer, dragging the ball across the face of the Dundee goal. And a shot not far away. Thomas not taking any chances, bringing it all the way back to Andy Gorham. We're into stoppage time now as Dundee come forward with Madison releasing Anand. The referee's given the free kick, he may have preferred to give the advantage there. And now Thomas is the man in trouble. He's already been put, so it's a second yellow card for Tony Thomas right on the interval. So Motherwell will have to contend with 10 men during the second 45. There was Madison, he just flicked it around the outside of Thomas. He caught him late, two yellows mean a red. And Motherwell down to 10 men. Madison with a free kick. Flights it in, in comes Irvin with a header. But it's over the top. And that challenge with Brannan. Madison flighting it in again, looking for the big defenders who were up. Reserving with a touch, but too high to call. Is Andy Gorham a problem? Is it back for Madison? It's hanging once more. Teo deals with it well. Here's Willie Miller. The shot swerving there, caught in the wind. Not far away from Willie Miller. Not a regular scorer by any manner of means, Willie Miller. But it wasn't too far away there. And Miller's efforts just going over the top is the last action of the first 45 minutes, which has seen John Spencer on the score sheet after only three for Motherwell. His third goal in two games, a terrific strike to beat Robert Douglas. Motherwell very much on top throughout the first 45 minutes, but then right on stoppage time, Tony Thomas was sent off for a second yellow card, so Dundee have the chance to use the one-man advantage in the second 45 minutes. At half-time, it's Motherwell 1, Dundee 0. So with Tony Thomas sent off, can Dundee utilise the one-man advantage to pull back this one-goal deficit during the course of the second half? Rayside picking up. Now Gower, Brannan drills it forwards, picked up by Willie Miller for Dundee. Forward he plays it, head flick from Faulkner, but Andy Gorham was alert. Extremely windy here at Fir Park, both sets of players trying to come to terms with it, keep this ball on the ground. Boyack. Blocked, cross blocked. Here's Rayside. Challenge there by Brannan. It's still spinning loose. Chance again for Boyack. And then the shot coming in. Andy Gorham there with the save from Gavin Ray. 
Powerful strike there from the Dundee midfielder. The ball was bobbling about everywhere at the edge of the Motherwell penalty area. Gavin Ray stabbed it forward with that left foot strike. And there was Andy Gorham right behind it. And now McMillan with a long clearance for Spencer to latch onto. He's on his own. He needs support. Three Dundee defenders back. He flights it in though. It's Goodman. Didn't connect properly. He's still got the chance though. Worrying moments for Dundee. John Spencer held it up enough for Goodman to come forward. And the ball fell to him. He just couldn't get enough power on it. Now Stephen Boyack. Looking for Anand. But no one got a touch on that one. Reflected it towards Teal. And an angry ball from Teal onto the chest of Goodman. Goodman against the wayside. He goes one way. And the free kick given outside the area. The blocking tackle from Robbie Wayside on Goodman. Obstruction there right on the edge of the penalty area. Eric Martindale giving the free kick. There's McMillan driving it in. Great save from Robert Douglas. It came through the wall. Douglas made a fine save. Geller managed to get the ball static. It was teed up for Steve McMillan. A fine parried save there by Robert Douglas. Uh, Dundee pressing with Robertson. Nice little pass into the path of Ray. Onto his left foot, beats Gorham and knocked in at the near post by Willie Faulkner. Dundee back level. 64 minutes gone. Well worked on the left hand side there. Into the path of Gavin Ray. He took it away from the defender, put it back inside Andy Gorham and Faulkner with the tap in from a yard out. Robertson with the pass, which split the Motherwell defence. Ray with the cutback, and Faulkner with his third goal of the season makes it Motherwell one, Dundee one. Motherwell have the throw. Duisburg to Spencer, trying to go round the outside, but running out of uh, space. Dundee have the goal kick. John Spencer very lively this afternoon. Well done, D, the chance for Grady with a left foot strike! And the substitute only on the park, a matter of a couple of minutes, takes that ball in his stride and puts Dundee in the lead. The pass through, finding Grady the little drag back, lovely strike in off the post to beat Andy Gorham. It was Ian Anderson with the pass, picking out Grady, he got away from Teal to drive that one in Dundee now 2-1 up with just over 16 minutes remaining Balakari back to Gower Spencer has to open it up wins the corner of Falconer Gower with the corner near post it is head away by Falconer Teal's there eventually Dundee get it out Balakari tries to keep on the pressure, finding McMillan. Away to the edge of the area, driven in by Jamie McGowan. Wide of the targets. Jamie McGowan, who's been in the score sheet only once this season from Motherwell. It was McMillan wide in that left hand side who delivered the cross. The break of the ball fell to McGowan and he couldn't find the target. And now Madison. Forward he goes, as the referee brings this match to a close. It's a successful afternoon for Dundee. They've recorded their first away league win of 1999, courtesy of two second-half goals. The first from Willie Falconer after 64 minutes. And then the second from substitute James Grady, who was only on the field of play a minute when he struck a powerful left foot shot past Andy Gorham.
It's a pleasing afternoon for the Dundee fans who see their side push their way out of the relegation area this afternoon. The final scoreline at Fair Park, Motherwell 1, Dundee 2. Jockey, that's a pleasing way to respond after a hefty defeat from Celtic. Well, it is, yeah. It was uh, a very important game today. We, with us uh, of the bottom four being the only team playing, it was very important that we got a result today and uh, the boys did great. Do you think that alleviates your problems down there? No, it doesn't uh, exactly alleviate them, but uh, it certainly helps. Billy, that must be a, a disappointing result to suffer. Yeah, it certainly was. I think it, uh, it was always difficult. When we went to 10 men, it was going to be very difficult. We started off very brightly as well, scoring early doors. and. I thought we were looking uh, decent in the first half, but once you go to 10 men, then things become very difficult and uh, it doesn't decapitalise it. James, a happy afternoon for you coming on as a substitute and within a few seconds you're in the score sheet. That's right, it was my first and second touch and it goes in the back of the net. It's been a long time coming. I think my last goal was in November, so it was due. I suppose it takes a wonder goal to beat Andy Gorham. That's right, well he's been doing that against Celtic, saving Rangers against Celtic all these days, so and I'm a Celtic fan, so I was just glad to put one over them. It looks as though you're getting it right on the part, you're getting the results that could su sustain your place in the Premier League. Do you think that the, off the field, the board are getting it right for, for you to have the stadium in place in time? Well, I'm, I'm sure that'll get done, but I mean, uh, for, for the players and, and the staff, obviously it would be better if it was done ASAP. But uh, the players and staff, we've just got to do our but make sure that we have enough points. And then that puts pressure on the, the, the directors and... Uh, to get the stands done, but I'm sure it'll be done. 